Hi everyone and welcome to Triple M Adventures with Bill. Before we get started, please consider subscribing to my channel and maybe becoming a patron of the, my YouTube channel as well. It would help me out a lot. Now let's get on with this video. This video is prompted by the new firmware update for the TBS Tracer Transmitter module. Now they have made adjustments to the power levels, giving us a ludicrous power level, which is quite sweet. And they've also changed something for the LQ um, statistics data. So I wanted to rerun my test. Now I'm going to do the penetration test. That's where I have the radio and the, firstly the receiver inside the house and then the radio inside the house. And then I just moved on to the 585 meter mark where I have the cottage and trees in the way because that's the more trickier um, test for the receivers that I test. So let's have a look at those uh, tests that I did first, the penetration ones, and then we're going to switch over to the computer so I can go through the data with you that I came up with. What I'm going to do now is rerun the penetration test, and I'm going to go to the over there to the 585 meter mark to run the test again after the ludicrous power level update uh, for the tracer transmitter. So we're going to be looking for um, or listening for our telemetry lost. So let's go. Okay. Let me just put the antenna up. There you go. Telemetry lost. Okay. Telemetry lost. No other warnings at 88.0 meters. Exactly 88 meters. We've lost telemetry. Let's turn around. Yeah, completely. That's surprising. I can't remember how that compares before. Now we're going to look for a fail safe on the Trace uh, PWM receiver after the ludicrous power upgrade. So off we go. Okay, first foul safe and continuous foul safe at 145.3 meters. That's 145.3 meters. Complete foul safe. Turn around, see if we connect again. Yes, it's a daisy. As soon as I turn around, it connects again, but I'm deliberately between, I, I test all the receivers holding it this way. Uh, so that's fair. Let me go back. Uh, it takes a while, but it reconnects. Now let's run the test again with Percy, the penetrator on there. And we're first going to do the telemetry warnings. Which it does appear, we don't get telemetry warnings. We just go straight to foul safe. And I'm sure that I've set up the radio as per... TBS's instructions. Telemetry lost. Okay, so the telemetry lost again. This time at 83.4 meters. 83.4, no, no warnings. Lost. Now let's look for fail safes using Percy the Penetrator on the radio. Okay, there we go. With Percy, we've gone 140 meters exactly okay it's come back again okay let's say that's the first fail safe because it has come back again so the first fail safe was 140 let's go on ah oh. okay now we're going to say that's 140 continuous fail safe if i turn around there we go connect straight back up again now let's take a look at the data on my computer okay Let's go through this. Now you can see here where I have the standard antenna details and then with Peter the penetrator. So if we take a look at the first RSSI low and RQL critical, none of them gave me any of those warnings other than the Peter the penetrator the first time round at 100 milliwatts. So the top line is the 100 milliwatts uh, with the standard antenna and then the ludicrous uh, power level is here. Now you can see there's been a marked um, increase in the 
um, distance that the transmitter uh, and the receiver connected. You can see here that at uh, 100 milliwatts, it was 101.6 meters. And then it went up to 145.3. That's an increase of 43.0%, which you agree is quite a lot. I know my tests aren't scientific, but they are compared in the same way. And that's obviously, I know people were having problems with uh, fail safing. So hopefully that will, will sort that out. Now, if we go over to Peter the Penetrator here, you can see at 100 milliwatts, it was 100.3. Now, just to note, you can see here that um, the first failsafe and failsafe went exactly at the same time. This is when I'm looking for the um, LED to change on the receiver. So if we go back to here, you can see it went from 100.3 uh, meters to 140 meters with Peter the Penetrator. So that was a 39.58 increase which is obviously quite good it proves that the adjustments that TBS have made are working now let's have a look at the range test I did at 585 meters you can see here that at 100 uh, milliwatts before the average uh, RQL was 48.3 and the lowest was zero so you can see I made a note here that the RQL was jumping around um, and I was worried that that would have fail safe at that distance because there was the lowest uh, RQL was zero. But with the new adjustments and on ludicrous mode, you can see it's now the average uh, RQL is 99.73. That's an increase of 106.49%. So now this could be affected by the, the changes they did in, in the firmware with regard to its calculation of this, because this is maybe why I was having these problems here, it was because there was actually something technically wrong with the, with the module, with the way it was calculating the RQL, which they now have said they have corrected. But they have definitely corrected something, you can see this, because of this increase. So you see I had a, um, a high uh, RQLY of 100 and then up with the ludicrous it's now 100 but before I had a low of zero and now it's uh, the low of 97. So there was no way that wasn't connected and it is a very tricky uh, distance that it was checked. I am uphill and the, the bridge that I stop at is below hill but there are trees and the buildings in the way. Then we go on to Peter the penetrator. You can see 100 milliwatts before the update um, it was 86.7 was the average, the high was 100, but the low was 26. So again, it, it um, maybe that would have actually fail safe because of that low reading. But when we get over to the ludicrous setting, you can see the um, average now went up to 99.7. Uh, the high stayed the same, obviously 100, but there's a big dramatic change here because it's now 92. So that is definitely not... I would say uh, it shouldn't be fail safing um, because of this reading. It's, it's difficult to tell because these are the uh, um, RQL readings, but one would assume that after the adjustments that TBS have made, that this would be, um, you know, would be the case. And you can see it was a 15.0% increase in the average RQL for that distance. I didn't go on to... Um, the uh, you know t testing over longer distance because I think this proves there has been some form of change for the better in the um, firmware on the transmitter. Thanks for watching this video and if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and if you have any questions or comments please leave them in the comment section below because I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching, happy flying, bye for now, bye bye.